Hey, you guys, what's up? It's Kelda Music. We are back here on On Stage Plus TV New Year's Eve celebration. I want to bring in our next guest. He is an amazing gentleman. I think you guys all will be impressed. His name is Michael Diamond. He's an international motivational speaker, master sales trainer, and expert in personal development. Everyone, give it up for Michael. Hi, my name is Michael Diamond, international motivational speaker, master sales trainer, and expert in personal development. I am so proud of you, and I'm excited to have the opportunity to speak into your life. I'm excited for the new year, 2021. It's time for you to shatter through your glass ceiling, reach in the lion's mouth, and take what belongs to you. As an international motivational speaker, I've been training and developing people like yourself around the world for the last 30, 35 years. And we're gonna lean in, we're gonna cut the velvet rope, we're gonna shatter through the glass ceiling, and I'm gonna introduce you to some concepts and some ideas that will infuel you, empower you, and allow you to accomplish your dreams. I want you to think about some of the things that have happened this year. It's been a tough year and a lot of us have taken lost, but I don't want you to get caught in the loss. I want you to keep your eye on the ball, keep your eye on the vision, and just remember that it's possible. Whatever your dream is, remember that it's possible and that remember that you're only a centimeter away from whatever it is you want to accomplish. It's not a big gulf or a prism for what you want to accomplish. You're only a centimeter away. And when I talk about being a centimeter away, it makes me think of a story of a, a gentleman that hired someone for golfing. The golfer took him out there for the training. He told him, I want you to hit the ball straight as you can, as far as you can. The guy hit the ball, the ball went to the left. The guy was upset, he said, no, you did a great job. He said, no, I want you to hit it to the left. The ball went to the right. The guy was so frustrated. He said, oh no, you're doing a great job. Now the guy looked at him and said, you're kind of blowing smoke at me. He said, I want you to hit it to the left. It went to the right, he wanted to hit it to the right, it went to the left. He said, give me the stick, let me show you a couple of things. So he took the iron and he twisted it just a centimeter and the ball went exactly where he wanted it to. He said, take it to the right. He hit it exactly where he wanted it to. He told him to hit it straight down the middle, it went straight down the middle. The golf trainer looked at him and told him, remember this in life, that you're only a centimeter away. And I want you to adopt that and embrace that in you. So many people give up. 70 to 80% of small businesses fail because it isn't working. It didn't work the first time. It didn't work the second time. They're telling people, I tried it three or four times. And when you talk about being defeated, I want you to think about Colonel Sanders. It took him, it took him 1,102 tries to get his first contract. Now let that sink into you, 1,102 tries to get his first contract. Now most people, they, they fall and give up after 10, 11, four tries. They're telling their woman, baby, we done tried this four or five times. It don't work. So you got to understand that persistency and consistency is the sandpaper that will sand away any obstacle in your path. And I want you to remember that you're unstoppable, invincible, too powerful to be defeated. You are incapable of being subdued and overtaken. You are more than a champion. You are a conqueror. I want you to think about, I want you to think about Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison with the light bulb, it took him 10,000 tries to accomplish the light bulb. At 5,000 failures, Thomas, his, his relatives came to him, his friends came to him and said, Thomas, listen, baby, you, you failed 5,000 times. It's been 5,000 tries, Tommy, let it go. And Thomas Edison replied with this, and I want you to let this get in your spirit. Thomas Edison looked them in the face and told his colleagues, I haven't failed 5,000 times. I just discovered 5,000 ways that don't work. That's, that's the spirit you have to adopt as a winner. That's the spirit you have to adopt as a champion. You have to remember Nelson Mandela, 37 years in prison. 37 years, Nelson Mandela was 41 years, a young man, successful attorney. Nelson Mandela went to prison for just trying to represent and protect families that were getting murdered. Nelson Mandela was quoted for saying after being heard in his prison cell crying, he was interviewed and they said, well, Nelson, you've got to be bitter. You've got to be angry. You've been in prison for 37 years. Nelson Mandela replied with this. Nelson Mandela told him, no, I'm not angry. What I've discovered is understanding myself better. I've discovered a new perspective about myself. 
Nelson Mandela got out of prison, bounced back and finished strong, like you're gonna bounce back and finish strong. Nelson Mandela came back to be, at ended the apartheid to become the first president of South Africa. You too are gonna bounce back and finish strong. 2020 has been challenging, but yes, you're only a centimeter away. Yes, you've lost. And if you've lost your business like so many others have, I remember back in 2008, I was earning $50,000 a month. I was earning $50,000 a month, had 30 employees, three mortgage offices. I was in a major accident, a head-on collision. Car hit me so hard, I still don't remember what happened. Spun me around seven times, threw me in a ditch. The windshield busted in my face. I'm telling you, we serve a good God. An angel had to wrap himself around my face. They got me out, when they finally got me out the vehicle, they told me we thought you were de de decapitated. By the time I got back to work, everybody had pilferaged, I lost employees, I lost my income, $50,000 a month. I I'll never forget standing in the window crying, looking out the window pane, and now I understand why they call it window pane, because I could feel the pain as I, tears were running down my face. But I remember this, my internal conversation, your internal conversation, you are a compilation of your internal conversation. I had to remember my studies. I had to remember the fact that you think 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. And here's the caveat, 80% of those thoughts are negative. People wonder why I think so much negative. You have a breakup, you have a bad situation, you're thinking about it over and over and over again. I want you to take this golden nugget that you think 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day, and 80% of them are negative, and 95% of them are recycled. So you've got a, a slither of a window of 5% that you've got to incorporate positive affirmations. One of those positive affirmations is, is I can and I will, and that settles it. As I looked out that window, as I looked out that window pane, knowing that I had to rebuild myself, that I had to bounce back and finish strong, I was looking out that window and I would say to myself, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. You've got to ingurgitate that in your mind and in your spirit, that no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. And I eventually came roaring back like Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart was the first female self-made billionaire in America. A few years later, Martha Stewart for inside trading was arrested and sent to prison. It was noted that Martha Stewart was noted for saying she could see herself being back on top. So she started saying it. First, she could see it, then she began to say it. Once you begin to see it and say it, then you believe it. She believed it in her spirit. I want you to see it, say it, believe it. And that's the secret, that's the diamond. I'm adopting this diamond on you now, that once you see it, say it, believe it, you shall receive it. It makes me think of the story of Muhammad Ali. When he lost his title, they stripped him of his title. It took him seven years to get another championship bout. He stripped him of his title. It took him seven years to get another shot at the title. When he fought George Foreman, the rumble in the jungle, it, in the eighth round, he was rope-a-doping the whole fight. What's rope-a-doping? Sometimes you gotta take blows in life. Sometimes you're taking a barrage of blows and you gotta weather them. You weather them by understanding that you're just a centimeter away. You understand them by keeping your internal conversation intact, that you don't get engulfed by the negativity. You feed into that sliver of 5% positivity. And he rope-a-doped and he knocked him out in the eighth round and regained the championship. Two significant points I want you to point out and recognize. It took him seven years, that's the miracle number. He knocked him out in the eighth round, that's the, that's, that's the number represents new beginning. 2021 is your new beginning. I want you to keep moving forward the way I had to bounce back and finish strong when my mom was dying of cancer. I had my first contract with NBC and ABC at the time. My mom was dying of cancer and I kept moving forward. I had to just keep moving forward. No matter how bad it hurts, you gotta keep moving forward. When you're hurting inside, you gotta keep moving forward. When you wanna give up, 
You got to watch your internal conversation and remember that you're only a sliver away. You've got to keep moving forward. Like the children in the wilderness, what destroyed them is that they kept going in circles. You've got to monitor yourself and ask yourself, am I going in circles? Am I stuck with negativity? Is my negative conversation getting so bad? You've got to watch what you say. You've got to remember that you're only a centimeter away. As I stood in that window pane, I said to myself, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it just like you. Now, you may be going through the toughest season in your life. You've got to call those things that be not. Sometimes we just got to fall into the arms of God. Sometimes we got to remember Romans 4, 17, even God who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things that be not as though they were. People might say, you crazy. I remember when I first started, I was earning $569.69 every two weeks. I was raising four kids. The wife died. I was raising four kids by myself, earning $569.69 every two weeks. I knew I had to keep moving forward. I knew I had to call those things that be not as though they were. I knew I had to make sure I was operating in a slither of time, and I had the audacity. I had, to, I had the strength and the courage and the tenacity to say, I, earn, I don't earn less than $10,000 a month. I started, I started print, utilizing this principle, and that is calling those things that be not as though they were, but having the tenacity and the courage and the titanium to call those things that be not as though they were. I started telling everybody I earn $10,000 a month. I don't earn less than $10,000 a month. I want to interject this to you because I want you to get this golden diamond, this golden nugget here. I'm going to drop this diamond on you. The subconscious does not distinguish between lie and truth. Its fiduciary responsibility is to give you whatever you say. Its responsibility, like a keyboard on a computer. You don't got to do the running man. You ain't got to do the stanky leg. You ain't got to do no dances when you're on a computer. All you got to do is type in what you want, and the computer's fiduciary responsibility from the keyboard is to get you what you ask for. That is the responsibility of your mouth. So remember that. So I started saying, I started, I'm employing this principle. It wasn't long, about seven months later, I was earning $10,000 a month. I said, wait a minute, I'm on to something. This is a good thing here. Wait a minute, I like this. So I said, well, look here, Lord, I'm going to try it again. I don't earn less than $20,000 a month. It was about a year and a half later, I was earning $20,000 a month. I said, wait a minute, we on to something here. So I kept moving forward. I kept moving forward. I said, I'm after this thing. I said, I don't earn less than $50,000 a month. You see, you have to understand that if you have the courage to say it, your subconscious mind will put you at the right place at the right time to meet the right people to bring the right resources. Have you ever been thinking to yourself about something and then you started saying it and then you meet the person, the right person comes along and you think, I was thinking about you. I was just thinking about you last night. I was just talking about you, girl. Wait a minute, I was just talking about you and you didn't call me up. That's the power of your mind. So if you have the courage to understand you're only a centimeter away, you're only a centimeter away, like Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Edison, if you just remember to uh, embrace the fact that you haven't failed, you've just discovered ways that don't work. So don't get negative. And remember, remember your positive affirmations. I can, I will, and that settles it. I can, I will, and that settles it. All of this makes me think of Mary Kay. Now, many people have heard of Mary Kay, but they don't really know the Mary Kay story. See, Mary Kay and her husband had saved and scraped like you. They had went through all types of challenges and changes like you. They had losses, business failure. They had disappointment, deaths in the family like you. They had a rough upbringing. They came from humble beginnings like you. At the kitchen table with her husband, planning the week before they were going to launch the business, Mary Kay's husband fell over and died at the kitchen table. Now, many people, that would have been enough. That's it. That's an omen. My husband died at the kitchen table. I'm done. That's it. It's over. I'm, I, I know this is a bad thing. This is a bad sign. Mary Kay tucked it in, got busy like you need to. She bounced back and finished strong like Muhammad Ali after having his title strapped from him, bounced back and finished strong. She came together and built an empire. She built an empire like you. 
So keep moving forward. And remember that you are more than a conqueror. You are invincible. You are unstoppable, incapable of being defeated, subdued, or taken down. You are more than a conqueror. You are a champion. All of this makes me think of when when, when Kentucky Fried Chicken first started, he was earning $205 a month. Now I want you to think, what can you do with $205 a month? Sometimes you might be thinking what you don't have. What I want you to focus on is what you do have. Here's a diamond that I want you to really collect for yourself, that if you have the sedacity, the courage to think it, and then see it, say it, believe it, you will receive it. Say that with me. See it. Say it, believe it, and receive it. Let's do it again. See it, say it, believe it, and receive it. Remember that you are more than a conqueror. You will not be subdued. So he saw it. At $205 a month, Colonel Sanders was about to commit suicide. He had lost everything. He had been divorced, had been pretty much up to that point a failure. And then he said to himself, what I want you to say to yourself as we close out 2020, he said to himself, I'm going to give it one more try. You might have lost your job this year. You might have lost your business this year. You know, I was watching MSNBC and I saw this woman who was indicative of most of us. She said, I, I did everything they told me to do. I, I, I leveraged my business. I borrowed the money. I put the outside tables. I did everything I could to do. And she said, now right over there, they got a, a film studio people and they're letting them do it and they won't let me do it. It wrenched and tugged at the heart of Americans. She was hurt, she was crying. And I'm telling you, that might be what you're going through. You might have lost it all. You might have went through just heck and hell and back again. But I'm telling you, I'm here to share with you, it's time to bounce back and finish strong. You can bounce back and finish strong. I want you to remember that you're only a centimeter away. All of this reminds me of a story it all reminds me of a story of an epiphany that I had. I was at a, a five-star hotel, and I had a meeting in the morning at 7.30. So I was up early, getting everything together. I got out the hotel, and I had all these bags. I had these bags in my hand, and I was running down the hallway. The elevator was closing. As the elevator was closing, I reached my hand in there, and the elevator hit my hand and opened up. But it would only open up about that much. And so I was trying to get through the elevator. I was exhausted, I was tired, I was looking at my watch. I said, I gotta get to this appointment. I was frantic and I was trying to get through. Eventually I had to drop all the bags, push them to the side, squeeze through the elevator. And when I got up to the top floor, I realized I was dreaming. It was an epiphany. You see, what I realized was what I was carrying around was the baggage of life. I was carrying around all my problems. The fact that my mama died. I was carrying around that the kid's mom died. I was carrying around my, in, my, my inadequacies, the things I couldn't, couldn't accomplish in life. And I was regurgitating before I knew that 80% of my thoughts were negative and 95% of them recycled. And I couldn't get over all these negative things that have happened in my childhood. Maybe you had some issues in your childhood. Maybe some things fell apart for you this year. In order for you to get through this next portal, in order for you to break through and shatter through this glass ceiling, reach in the lion's mouth and take what belongs to you. You're going to have to drop some baggage, baby. You got to drop some baggage. You got to let some things go. And you got to remember, you can't give life to it. You can't speak about it. I had to drop those baggage. And this epiphany was the fact that I had been carrying around all this baggage. There's a saying at the top where you're headed. If you want to go up, you got to give up. You got to give up. You got to give up some things. You got to give up some of those people in your life. You got to give up some of those habits. And you got to remember that failure is a part of the game. Don't take failure like, oh my God, I failed. No, failure is a part of the game. That's all right. Chalk it up, take it up. It's okay. Failure is a part of the game. And take, I, in fact, I, I enjoy failure like vitamin pills. I take them every morning. Boom, I just take them. Failure is like vitamin pills because it's a part of the game. Thomas Edison failed 5,000 tries and told his friends, I didn't fail 5,000 times, I just found out 5,000 ways it don't work. So if you're gonna make it to the top, and you are, 
And maybe you've had challenges like myself. Maybe you had struggles like Martha Stewart, where she was on top, the first self-made billionaire woman in America, and then went to prison. Martha Stewart, while she was in prison, was noted for saying she could see herself coming back. She could see herself bouncing back and finishing strong. She began to say it. She would see it, say it, and she believed it. Martha Stewart came out of prison, and you see her on TV now with Snoop Dad, Snoop, Snoop Doggy. She's getting it done all over again. You can't stop that woman. I'm telling you, I'm telling you this right now. This is your turn to bounce back and finish strong. You've got to make sure that you're only a centimeter away, except that no matter what the situation is, you've got to understand that no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, you've got to resolve in yourself that I'm going to make it. And like the children of Israel, you've got to keep moving forward. No matter how bad it looks, keep moving forward. You may have to take baby steps for a long time, but just keep moving forward. Muhammad Ali was noted for saying, I can see myself knocking this guy out in the eighth round. I can see me knocking Foreman out. I see myself getting my, getting my crown back. He started saying it. He could see it. He started saying it. He believed it, and he received it. That's the diamond for you today. Have the tenacity. Have the courage to be able to see it. When I was earning $600, $569.69 every two weeks, I had relatives telling me, you don't earn $10,000 a month. Come on, Diamond. Come on, Michael. Come on, man. Put that down. Put that drink down, man. You didn't have too many. I would tell people, look, I earn $10,000 a month. That's it. And I was driving around in a Pinto at the time. i never forget. My, my caddy had got broke down. The, the, you know, the kid's mom died. I was going through a living hell like maybe you. I was going through challenges like maybe you. I was so broke, I couldn't pay attention. I had lint balls in my pocket trying to tell the kids, you can do this. I'm out there telling folks, you got this, you got this. Can I borrow a dollar? So you got to understand that you got to have the tenacity to say it. There's something Titanian about saying it. There's just something that releases. You know, there's a, there's a spirit out there for people that talk positive. You know, when you talk positive too much, people try to say you're conceited or maybe, maybe you're narcissistic. But I'm not talking about that level. I mean, I don't want you running around at your job telling everybody you're better than everybody. But you have to have the ability and the courage to speak your reality out. Now, my vision is to reach a billion young lives through love, hope, and encouragement. And I need your help. You visit my website, and you'll see that we're out to reach a billion young lives. You've got to think big, believe big, act big, and the result will be big. You've got to remember. You've got to remember that you're invincible, that you're unstoppable, too powerful to be defeated. You're too powerful to be overcome and subdued. You are more than a champion. You are a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. You are a champion. It's time for you to shatter through your glass ceiling, reach in the lion's mouth, and take what belongs to you. All of this reminds me of the time when we have, or came to the point where we had achieved the goal. We were right there at the door of our miracle where we were now earning $50,000 a month. Everything was going great, champagne, oh, limos, everything was just a beautiful thing. But I want you to remember that when you're at your peak, expect negativity. Don't be shattered with negativity. And don't demean where you are. Don't give more life to what you don't have to what you have. Remember that the invisible is more powerful than the visible. What we currently see is not a fraction of what's available out there. And when it all fell apart, people were looking at me like, yeah, are you all that now, huh? You ain't got nothing now, everything's broke. And I started telling them the same thing I'm telling you. No, I earn $50,000 a month. I earn $50,000 a month. I'm bouncing back and finishing strong. So I want you to know that you can bounce back and finish strong. As an international motivational speaker, master sales trainer, and expert in personal development, you are unstoppable. You are incapable of being defeated. And I want you to observe that and, and get it down in your spirit and know that, that you're big enough to do it, that you're big enough to do it. You can do this, whatever the this is for you. You're raising the kids. Maybe the coronavirus has shifted you and your job is now closed. The business you work for is closed. 
Like myself, I had to, I had to mortgage the houses when everything fell apart. I lost five houses, the business, 50,000, all the employees, everything fell apart. You may need to reinvent yourself, that's all. Just keep staying positive. Keep believing that it's possible. Keep moving forward. Remember that you're only a centimeter away. Remember that you've got to let the baggage go. You've got to drop all the issues and you've got to, you've got to forgive people, forgive yourself, speak positive, and know that if you can see it, say it, believe it, receive it. Say it with me, see it, say it, believe it, receive it. See it, say it, believe it, receive it. Know that in your internal conversation, you say to yourself, I can and I will, and that settles it. I can, I will, and that settles it. And no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. Know that you are a winner, unstoppable, invincible, and that you will bounce back and finish strong. And I'm telling you, 2021 is time to get it done. In 2021, it's time for you to get it done. In 2021, it's time for you to shatter through your glass ceiling, reach in the lion's mouth, and take what belongs to you. And I just for attending this show tonight, I just want to, out of a spirit of gratitude, I want to offer you, if you visit my website, www.michaeldiamond.us, and say you saw this show, go to the contact page and put in your information. I'm gonna send you a free gift, a powerful motivational series taught, entitled, Big Enough to Do It, that you're big enough to do it. My name is Michael Diamond. I'm an international motivational speaker, master sales trainer, expert in personal development, and I'll see you in the winner's circle.